People throw around the words like cult favorite, cult product very loosely these days. But Biologic Recherche is actually properly, genuinely a cult favorite, cult worthy brand. And it has been around for decades. So it has, I guess, earned this reputation. The Biologic Recherche Lotion P50 is their flagship product and very much worth the hype. But basically I first heard of the brand through Caroline Hirons back when the blog was her focus. So maybe like 10 years ago or so. At that point, the brand wasn't easily accessible in Australia and it was actually quite difficult to source. Biologique is predominantly a facialist brand. And up until very recently, it was still immensely difficult to find. So you'd kind of have to go to a spa location to get it. It is easier to source online now, especially in like Australia, US, UK, a lot of Europe. Um, I think in some Asian countries as well. A few markets still have quite limited availability. So unfortunately, it's just the type of brand that you have to check um, where you live. In Australia in particular, they've just announced a pretty major partnership and they're working with Mecca Aesthetica. So that's like an offshoot of the Mecca beauty brand where they will have independent like faceless clinics clinics popping around. So that's pretty cool because I hope that will mean that Biologique will become even more well known. I'm sure part of I'm sure part of this like limited availability is marketing just to appear that little bit more elusive and exclusive. But the fact of the matter is that Biologique does have tons of products within their brand and it is kind of difficult to navigate. So if you don't speak to a BR specialist, then it will be quite it will be quite hard to choose the right products for your skin. And I think their whole ethos is that they just want to ensure that they're passing on product training while they're selling. So they don't want to get people, so they don't want people to get product home, not know what to do with it and then risk damaging their skin barrier. So actually education is part of the reason why they want so much control over their products because they, they are quite expensive and they just want to ensure that people are experiencing the products and using them to ensure the best results. I had the opportunity to visit their Los Angeles like flagship clinic last year and I've also been to their Gold Coast location earlier this year. Um, thankfully and luckily BR invited me to just experience those facials as like an Instagram um, like PR gift. So this video is not sponsored or anything um, and my love for the brand started organically so they only reached out to me after I spoke about them with like an obsession for a long time. Um, but just mentioning yeah, that those visits were gifted because I'm not actually a person that enjoys facials. So it, that wasn't even an easy conversation. They kind of had to like prod me into trying them because I just don't enjoy um, facials in general. It's just, yeah, I prefer at home skincare. Anyway, I'm ranting now, but the reason I would mention this is because when you go there, it is very clear that they take skin and skincare super seriously. And it's just such a nice environment to be in because it doesn't feel like a sales experience. Like they're very truly trying to understand your skin concerns and how best to treat it. Um, and it's just nice to be in that environment because you feel like because um, you feel like they get it and the products they're offering they're not fluffy little things they're not copying every other brand everything is interesting and original and it's just a whole experience so I very much understand why people that use BR stick with BR for years and years just because the way the brand communicates with you feels much more authentic than I think a lot of other brands are able to do. And the other thing is that skin care or skin customization is quite significant. And because BR has so many products, it's like your routine will vary wildly from someone else. And that gives it again, a level of personalization that I think is important. Plus I also like the fact that a lot of their processes and procedures are non-invasive. The industry, the industry in my opinion has lent far too much into injectables and lasers. Um, so there's something nice you know, about seeing a brand that believes in topicals and that believes in like massage and gestures and that sort of thing as to allowing your skin to thrive. All of this is a roundabout way of saying that Biologic believes more in skin conditions, not necessarily skin types. And that's very much my own philosophy in skincare, something they call a skin instant, which is basically like identifying what your skin struggles are in the moment and what needs to be addressed like right now today is the primary focus because a lot of people can have maybe underlying conditions but 
they have something going on on the surface that that is preventing the underlying stuff from being treated. So it's like figuring out what is most relevant to ensure the best skincare result. And the other and the other reason the concept of a skin instant is so is so helpful is that your skin concerns change over time whether that's because of intrinsic or extrinsic factors, skin is in a state of flux. So the products that you're using today might not be relevant tomorrow, that kind of thing. Not to say you need to chop and change super regularly, but maybe seasonally or, you know, who, know, who knows, you know, you've changed your environment, you're traveling more, the last couple of months you've been drinking a bit more, whatever it is, but all of that stuff will impact how your skin is behaving. As an example, when I had my first in, when I had my first like in spa treatment in Los Angeles, that process was really all about dehydration and purifying my skin. Well, when I went to the Gold Coast just a few months ago, the week prior, I had actually, I had actually damaged my skin barrier. So I was struggling, like I was red and irritated. It was pretty bad. And so my facial during that visit was part of their Tole skin range. And that was all like SOS. So it was just nurturing, comforting, restoring barrier. So it was just cool to have like entirely different products applied, entirely different gestures. And in both cases, Biologique will do like a skin checkup with you first. So it's like do, using little probes and things to check your hydration, sebum levels, all of that. I um, mean, that just means that every treatment is tailored towards what your skin needs in on that day in that moment. And the other thing I love about BR, which you'll also notice if you look through the brand, is that they do believe in skin layering or skincare layering. So a lot of the textures are actually very light because the goal is not to suffocate your skin or use one moisturizer as like a cling wrap plastic wrap over your skin but it's designed to work within the particular ingredients that your skin concern will respond to but in layers so that when so you might not always need all layers you can add certain things take them out and again it's all about just customizing what your skin needs but everything is light so it layers really nicely by the end of your routine your skin just somehow feels really nourished moisturized protected all of the things so the balance of their products and how it all works together is just like truly chef's kiss you might have seen me mention before, but I believe in a skincare wardrobe. So having different products for different skin requirements. And that whole philosophy is really what Biologique is based around. So it's just been interesting and funny to find a brand that like matches exactly my own thinking around skincare. Um, so I don't know if I like subconsciously already heard about this BR process years ago and without even realizing they influenced my train of thought, but just coming together all these years later because I only tried BR for the first time in 2022 um it's been kind of this like it's just been like awesome to see a brand very much like get it and I feel like they are serious about all the things that they produce now with all of that said and I've just been rambling for far too long about Biologique as a brand but as I said at the start Lotion P50 is their flagship product and I think one of the key products that everybody can benefit from using at home regardless of if you're going for a skin clinic treatment at all. So let me refocus this video and go into some detail about Lotion P50, what it is, how to use it, all the good stuff. So what is Lotion P50? Basically P50 is an exfoliating liquid that you would typically use in your toner or essence step after cleansing. P50 uses a blend of acids with other replenishing ingredients and there are some different ingredient components and profiles depending on which version of P50 you select. The texture is essentially watery but some of the versions of P50 are a little bit more viscous. Lotion P50 is described as a low pH formulation that aids in the skin being able to regain its original regenerative qualities and radiance. So why is it called P50? Essentially the P in the P50, there's a bit of debate about what that stands for, but it's generally accepted it's P for peeling and 50 is peeling over 50 days. 
And the reason for 50 days is because it takes two epidermal, epidermal cycles lasting approximately 25 days on average to really achieve the first level of epidermal reconditioning, allowing for more purified and rebalanced skin. Figuring out your skin instant, not necessarily your skin type, is really the key to finding the best fit in terms of your lotion p50 formula this is where speaking to biology directly can be helpful i believe they still offer free consults at least online so it's probably worth submitting an inquiry if that option is available where you live but i'll also do my best to describe the differences in this video as we move forward because you might find that because you might find that something that i say just clicks with your skin concern benefits. P50 purifies, balances, clarifies, boosts, and overall supports the skin to achieve its maximum potential. These lotions will address overall skin tone, blackheads, the appearance of pores, whiteheads, conge congestion, radiance, smoothness, correcting ruddiness, which all leads to improved skin glow. Most topical irregularities will also be treated using lotion P50, and over time expect a stronger and more resilient skin barrier function. I think the best skincare products help skin help itself, and this is why P50 is so effective. It's not fighting against your skin, it's giving it like the best tools it needs to thrive. P50 is also not a product that only serves to exfoliate it's almost like it's delivering key components which means it's like it's replenishing and fortifying while it's exfoliating the lotions p50 balancing exfoliators accelerate the natural exfoliation process and will reconstruct the epidermal shield the fortified epidermis can then fulfill its protective function thus enhancing the deeper dermal layers self-regeneration potential lotions p50 regulate excessive sebum purifies and clears debris from pores lifts dull cells balances the surface of the skin improves the quality and fortifies the epidermis unifies epidermal cell allows for light reflection off the skin surface and therefore also improves the efficacy of products you apply after it. The different versions of Lotions P50 all overlap in function to a degree with some minor unique properties in each one. How to use? So how do you actually use Lotion P50? This is somewhat controversial to say, but Lotions P50 was actually designed with daily use in mind, even twice daily in some circumstances. I know this is a scary concept for some people. Social media has kind of conditioned everybody to be afraid of acids, but I think in a well-designed product that is balanced and actually is designed to replenish and fortify your skin, you don't necessarily need to be scared of using acids daily. There are of course exceptions. Using P50 with aggressive treatments, maybe like retinoids, vitamins, and see even as a lake acid really anything that is being super stimulating to the skin is maybe not recommended at least definitely not at the start so if you're planning to try lotion p50 it is very it is very worth pausing those other treatments just to see how your skin reacts with P50 by itself and until you get to a point of acclimatizing to it. After you've lived with P50 for, for a while, you can then begin to reintroduce other products. I'll discuss the different types of lotions P50 in a moment, but generally Biologique as a brand suggests that most people start with lotion P50W. It's a bit more gentle on the skin and it just tends to be more well tolerated. Personally speaking, I do think the benefits of lotion P50 are seen best with regular use. And I actually did the full 50 days of nightly application at the start with no breaks. I just wanted to really see the benefits of this product and kickstart things in my skin. But having said that, you do also have to listen to your skin. Some people just have more sensitized skin naturally. And you also have to understand that different products you use will impact the overall tolerance of your skin barrier. The way I can describe starting P50 is the first night was pretty confronting. My skin tingled a lot. It was almost Almost like it was burning and that actually lasted for a while so I was freaking out at the beginning thinking I had destroyed my skin but despite that feeling the next morning my skin was totally fine and each day that I used p50 after the first night I would never wake up with irritated skin it was just better every day so it's a situation where you just need to pay attention some people truly might not be able to tolerate it 
but I wouldn't say that stinging and burning necessarily automatically equals to a damaged skin barrier. You just have to like look at, you just have to pay attention to your skin. If you notice that it's actually red, raw, irritated peeling, then stop. Ultimately the goal is to find balance, but I think you do want to try and use it as regularly as you can, ideally daily if possible. In terms of, in terms of actual application, it's just as easy as applying any watery toner. After cleansing, just some on a cotton round, even in your hands, and then apply it to your face. I do think a cotton round works best with P50 though. I find it easier to integrate it at night, but I know some people use it during the day. I sometimes use it in the day. It just seems to fit better in my evening routine. And of course, sunscreen is a must. So every single day, sunscreen is a must. There is literally no point in starting on P50 if you're not gonna shield your skin from sun damage every day thereafter. There are ways that you can help your skin acclimate to P50. I think starting with a cream cleanser is super important and if budget allows I highly recommend using one of BR's own cream cleansers. Lay VIP 2 in particular is a great one. Cream cleansers like this just end up having conditioning properties so they help soften the blow of P50 on your skin. Alternatively you can wet a cotton round with some water and then apply P50 to the round and that water will just help dilute some of the effect of the acid on your skin. A padding motion is usually suggested instead of like swiping or wiping. I think this is just to limit some potential of manual exfoliation because ultimately anything like rubbed up against your skin is leading to some type of exfoliation so you just want to ensure that you're patting it in so that it's just the p50 doing its work now i'm going to go into a bit of discussion of the different versions of p50 starting with the original classic current formula that's just known as Lotion P50. It is their current flagship formula and it's available in most countries around the world and the classic like highest strength version of their offering. Basically it's the P50 with no letters before or after it, it's just P50. This version of Lotion P50 is most recommended for seborrheic and or keratinized skin instance. Ingredients include gl gluconolactone, lactic acid, glycerin, niacinamide, vinegar, phytic acid, malic acid, and various purifying botanical extracts, even a little bit of sulfur. P50 is antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, astringent, and also antioxidant. BR doesn't disclose a lot of details, so we don't really know much about exact percentages or ratios. Rumored concentrations that I've seen around sit the acid content at around 12%, and all the products that contain salicylic have that in a fairly low amount, I think under 0.05% in most, if not all versions. But I guess I would suggest or like recommend not to dwell too much on the specifics. P50 is really all about the blend. So the exact acids, so the exact acids, the exact composition, it's not really relevant. It's just how they put it all together. Now touching on a few of the different versions of the lotions P50, there's P50V, P50W, P50, P50, PIGM 400. I don't know if you say that as like pigum, <laughs> pig, pig. Pig M400, I'm not even sure. And also a special edition called Lotion P50T. P50T is available in certain markets only just due to like acid percentage requirements. Beyond that, there is also a heritage formula still available and that's known as P50 1970. I'll discuss that separately later on. And I'm sorry if you can hear background noise, my neighbors are doing something weird all of a sudden. P50W is kind of recommended as the starter option. It's usually suggested for anybody new to Biologic overall or anybody that identifies as having sensitive skin generally. It's certainly not weak, but it's definitely gen gentler on the skin than the classic lotion P50. I would suggest it's probably the most universal option and it has additional skin soothing extracts in it that the original doesn't like Allantoin and and Arnica. Texturally, it's closer to the original Lotion P50. This also feels quite watery. It just doesn't feel quite as strong, so it has a little bit less impact. And I believe this one doesn't have any salicylic acid in it. P50V is recommended for devitalized skin instance and all those lacking tone. To me, Lotion P50V has a noticeable texture variation. It feels much more conditioning and hydrating on the skin and just more, and it just has more viscosity. Some of the purifying extracts have been switched out for conditioning extracts instead. That includes things like yeast and walnut. These booster extracts may help with the appearance of lines and wrinkles. 
I think P50V is a good one to explore if you have particularly dehydrated skin or maybe you just lean dry overall. P50 Pigum, P-I-G-M 400, is ideal for pigmented and dull skin types or just people with less resilient skin overall. I think all versions of P50 will assist with pigmentation. It's just this P50 Pigum 400 has additional brightening ingredients. I really don't know if I'm saying that right. This, however, is known to be the most gentle formula, particularly if you have delicate skin or maybe if you're using other more harsh ingredients to treat pigmentation directly. And lastly, P50T is recommended for all skin types, but usually only where the other options aren't available. This version isn't available in every market. It's kind of like a special edition for countries where maybe the, the original ratio of acids is higher than what regulations allow. And sometimes that's also related to pH and percentages and a whole bunch of other things, but basically it's a regulatory requirement. I haven't tried this one personally, but I guess we can assume because of the reason it exists, it's going to be a more gentle experience than maybe the lotion P50, even P50W and probably even P50V. I've seen some debate on whether P50T is stronger than the Pigum 400. From what I understand, for 400 is the gentlest, but I'm not 100% sure both T and 400 would be considered quite gentle options. The reported pH level of P50 will vary depending on where you see it online. And pH is relevant within this context because pH will influence how strong an acid feels on the skin. I don't have a proper pH meter at home, so I just use those like cheap Amazon pH strips. So take this very much with a grain of salt just to give you a general idea of the potential impact on skin. But Lotion P50 came in at a rating of between 2.5 and 3, so fairly low. P50V and P50W looked the same, and that was between 3 and 3.5. Pigum 4. 400, PIGM 400 was between three and a half to four. And I also tested lotion P50 1970, and that was also between three and a half to four. An Instagram friend of mine, Vanessa from Goals to Get Glowing, she actually has a proper pH meter and had a few of her P50 formulas available. Her pH meter result for the classic lotion P50 was 2.7, P50 Pigum 400 was 3.6, and P15 1970 was 3.7. So that brings me to actually discussing Lotion P15 1970. The 1970 version was actually the original like market version of Lotion P50. It's just that it underwent a formula change a few years ago, but the classic still had a cult following. So where that product is allowed to be sold, it's still on the market. It's just they've renamed the original formula Lotion P50 1970. Essentially, the calling card of the 1970 formula is that it includes an ingredient called phenol. Phenol has some controversy around it. It's known to be quite aggressive and even potentially quite dangerous. Although, of course, the levels used in P50 were never a concern. It's just an ingredient that has sort of lost relevance in topical skincare. The updated formula, in my opinion, is much more modern, much more refined and much more replenishing to the skin. So I don't really understand the need for 1970. It's just around for heritage. 1970, as far as I know, is only sold in the US. And as I said, I don't really understand why, because I think the current new formula available everywhere is much better. Having said that, the 1970 edition does have nostalgic properties. Phenol gives skin a little bit of a numbing sensation, so it's quite an unusual product to use, but it also smells terrible, like a chemical factory expo explosion, burning hair, burnt tires. It smells shockingly bad. The current, like non-1970 formula, just smells a bit like vinegar, so it's much more pleasant. So yeah, to say again, I don't understand the need, the hype around the 1970. It's only because people have a nostalgic affinity towards it. In terms of actual skin result, the exfoliating effect, it's all better in the current, in the currently updated version. And just to discuss the scent more specifically, because you'll see this mentioned in a lot of media articles, people tend to freak out about the smell of P50, but I honestly think that has to be coming from the 1970 version. That does truly smell terrible, but the current lotion P50 formula, it just smells a bit like fermentation, vinegar, all of the above. I think we're just used to that now because so much of skincare leans into that type of scent. It's not unpleasant. It's not super pleasant. It's just fine. You'll get used to it. It doesn't linger. It dissipates. It's totally a non, it's a non-conversation. 
before I finish off the video, I have some random thoughts. If you're interested in trying Lotion P50, they do offer smaller 50 mil sizes in most countries. So you don't have to commit to a full size straight away. This should be enough product to get you through the full 50 day cycle if you wanna kind of follow the protocol at the beginning. I would suggest not using other potentially harsh ingredients when you're starting on P50. So you might consider pausing retinoids, vitamin C, all those sorts of types of ingredients, at least for the first couple months. You can probably cut back to a more maintenance phase of P50 at some point, like when you start getting to a point where you're happy with results. But I still feel that ongoing regular use is best. Your skin is just going to love P50 and without it, you'll start to miss it. And last thing I'll mention is that although Biology generally recommends starting with P50W, in my opinion, it definitely doesn't work as well as the regular lotion P50. So if you've maybe tried P50W in the past and felt like it didn't really offer you the results you were after, it's still worth trying just the normal P50 because I think there is like a general variation in the skin results that you'll notice. Guess just to describe my own experience using p50 and why i'm a fan it's been able to replace so many products in my own like individual routine i don't feel the need to have dedicated aha products dedicated pha products it's really replaced as a lake acid entirely i know they don't really technically overlap but just the reason I was using as a lake acid, which was to calm redness, to fortify my skin, P50 does all of that. And I also used to use like dedicated sulfur cleansers and things of that nature, but I have been able to discontinue those products as well. Overall, P50 has just had an enormous impact on how calm and clarified my skin feels. Just truly balanced is the word, balanced and purified. And I'm absolutely positive it has improved the integrity of my skin. It seems odd to suggest that an acid will improve barrier function but I wholeheartedly think P50 does. In terms of surface texture and just irregularities, I actually think P50 has done more for me than tretinoin. I still love retinoids, don't get me wrong, but I consider them more like working deeper on the skin and for insurance long term. And P50 kind of tackles everything topically. So those two together, after you've gone through the process of after you've gone through the process of slowly integrating them, they actually work really well together. And in terms of other exfoliating products, I still use a salicylic acid generally the build skincare age oil because that's one percent salicylic so it's a bit more gentle just for more focus on pores or like keeping my actual pores cleared out i still have bhas in my routine it'll sometimes still work in a physical exfoliator just because I think physical scrub style products, um, they make my just skin feel smooth and silky in a temporary way that I might want for a particular day or an event. So I still have those in my routine just for their cosmetic effect, um, which no chemical exfoliator ever gives me the results that a physical scrub will. So again, I use that as a supplement or complement to P50, not as a replacement. So yeah, essentially my exfoliating routine looks like retinoids, P50, uh, a BHA and physical scrubs. Of course, not all at the same time. It's just again about balance. But with P50 being the predominant product in my routine, I definitely use a lot of everything else a lot less. P50 just feels like it's hydrating, replenishing, nourishing while exfoliating. And I think I've said that like 10 times up till this point, but I'm just really trying to stress that it's not an exfoliating product that maybe you would have experienced before. The blend is really the magic here. Overall, I love Lotion P50. If it's not clear, I can't imagine not having it in my routine moving forward. It has become a true holy grail skincare product. If you can actually speak to Biologique directly to help you find the best product, that's usually recommended or something I would recommend. But I also hope this video has been somewhat helpful in case you wanted some general guidance. So thank you for watching and let me know if you have any biology questions. I'll do my best to answer them. I have actually used quite a few products from the brand now, not everything, but quite a lot. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions. And of course, I always welcome all types of feedback. So yeah, I will see you in the next video.